A new story now. There are images unlike anything we've seen before. A tornado touching down on Lake Manawa. Today, many of you still talking about it. Quite a talker on social media. We're learning new details as to why this triggered the sirens to sound in Omaha and all of Douglas County. For more on that, we join our Chase Moffitt live. Chase, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Jessica and Matt. During this newscast Thursday in our newsroom, we were hearing some reports of a photo cloud. Others had reported that the tornado was actually on the ground. And then take a listen. This happened. Now we could hear the tornado siren in Omaha. Our crew shot this video near 42nd and Interstate 80. From here, it looked like it, the tornado could actually be in Omaha, but we now know that swirling was over Lake Manawa and Council Bluffs. So today I checked in with Douglas County Emergency Manager Paul Johnson, who updated me on why that happened. Johnson tells me there are three reasons why the sirens are turned on. In yesterday's case, it was because a local law enforcement officer spotted the funnel cloud uh, in Douglas County. Now, that same rule would apply if that had been a trained spotter. Now, other reasons would include uh, the sirens to sound if the National Weather Service actually issues a warning for our area. And finally, part of this policy is if there's credible reports of damage to 911 or if there's an imminent threat of straight line winds of 74 miles an hour or greater. Now, in the end, Johnson tells me it's all about public safety, and he also says that all of the sirens did sound throughout all of Douglas County. Not in Jessica.